Desktop Inspection Week 4, March 2016. Bodhi was released on the 30th of March and there they are with their new release. So let's take a look at the desktop real fast. And uh, I know that Bodhi is really good. <clears throat> You can also install it uh, from uh, or run it from a USB stick. I once uh, just uh, uh, yeah created a bootable USB stick from Bodhi and just run it from there. It was running just fine on a laptop without any hard drive installed. Thing didn't even have the CD-ROM. Could boot from USB though, so just fine to run. In fact, any version of Linux and also Bodhi. 1200 megabyte, but also a small uh, ISO there from 502 megabytes. So go ahead and see which one uh, you would like to try out. We continue with OpenBSD and we see BSD coming uh, more and more with their releases. This is a very specific thing, I think. This is not for you and me. We must know a lot of things we must know BSD okay so uh, I will leave that for uh, the pros uh, we continue with Fedora and Fedora is back and it's nice to see that Fedora is back with version I think 24 I saw there and uh, this is the GNOME desktop we know that from Fedora they have it a very long time already so I hope it's uh, running a little bit smoother now it was kind of buggy on uh, my laptops and or at least on my tablet but that could also be the power of my tablet you can find them in uh, ISO uh, ISOs of 1879 megabyte and 1.4 uh, gigabytes the, so go ahead and you know check it out we see that Ludovic uh, Kurtas has announced the release of a new version of the GUIX system distribution. It's an operating system built with GUIX package manager. The new release GUIX offers reproducible builds for several key packages. I really don't know what this is. And yeah, in fact, we're not getting any desktop here. So I think this is not for the desktop inspection, right? We continue with Sabayon. Sabayon was released on the 28th of March. Always nice, beautiful uh, neon uh, kind of icons there. Nice uh, Sabayon. These guys are working on the look and feels. Love the little Apple Wi-Fi thingy there. Looks good. Nice. <clears throat> Maybe some of you guys could also you know instead of put one picture the picture is big enough you know montage uh, some pictures of the operating system uh, into that picture so we can get a better look uh, with the desktop inspections how your system looks before we're gonna download it uh, we continue with parsix parsix uh, or maybe you should just go to the home page of these guys to you know to go and see how it looks so I think that is maybe even better but effect here you could create like four pictures you know showing uh, some more parts of the OS that's always interesting for you know somebody that wants to download it so they kind of know what they're getting I love the little flower there lovely we continue with LXLE and LXLE looks good uh, it looks like it was built on the Lubuntu as I can, you know, see here the logo, but maybe they just use the start menu. These days we can use any start button that we want, thanks to the power of Linux. Beautiful. Let's see how big that is. 1400 megabyte peeps, so go ahead, check it out. LXC, L LXLE is a lightweight distribution based on Ubuntu's long-term support releases. Well, lightweight 1.4 gigabyte. Hmm. That's kind of heavyweight to me. We continue with Ubuntu. Of course, Ubuntu with the Unity desktop. Uh, nothing compared to the beautiful Mate desktop. So I don't know why Mate is not in here. Mate 16 
is a very beautiful operating system but of course ubuntu is ubuntu so yeah i just don't i'm not a big fan of this desktop but i'm not gonna say it all the time because i'm a big fan of ubuntu just don't like this desktop um rescatux uh, that is something for specific users i think what is it let's see if we can get a picture of that well maybe we should not waste too much time on this and just continue with freenas jordan hubbard has announced the release of a new version of freenas a network attached storage project that is based on freebsd okay so this is for network specialist and there we are again this is free bsd for the normal people with the kda uh, desktop looks good from ladislav boss botnar our russian friend he's always busy with creating and working on his distro we always see him two three times per month dating up so that's a good thing keep up the good job there we go and see that Robo Linux is also in the deal. Let's take a quick look at Robo Linux and boom, you can see it. Uh, Robo Linux is uh, also coming with this beautiful, beautiful desktop. Nice icons. Really, really lovely. Well done, my friend. Well done. We continue with Slackware. And uh, my processor is cooking. But this is a Slackware and let's see, take a look at the desktop. It's a very big picture, you know, there's lots of space to insert different pictures in here and still have a good look at the system. KDA desktop there and uh, we can see that we can download them starting at 2600 megabytes. So that's kind of big. Red Hat on the 15th, uh, I think we are almost ending already in the list here because we're coming to things that we i think already reviewed the uh, other day but this is also from ladilav botnar uh, and this is his uh, yeah his red hat uh, uh, distro Tja. looking good and we continue with chaos chaos and what is chaos well chaos is a very very lovely looking operating system and i think yeah they they really work on the icons they really work on the look and feels you know um lovely well done there chaos and that was from of course my friend anke Burus bursma yes anke bursma that's how to pronounce it the right way anke bursma that's a lady yeah it's a very smart lady we continue with uh on the 13th of march we had free bsd again and uh, yeah we already took a look that nothing really changed uh, at the desktop maybe they should play more with uh, you know if you update to uh, another build or higher build maybe you should also do something of the look on the look and feels eh? yeah that's that's how i see update this is so simple si simple but so beautiful look at the colors that these guys use or girls whoever worked on this i love the icons i love the style but this is yeah this is this is specific eh? this is yeah you can also see the the things that the guys uh, installed here this is not for everybody Although maybe it is, maybe we should just go ahead and take a look at it and download it and play with it and see what it can do for us. Well, peeps, uh, I think we're already uh, coming at the end of the list because uh, Linux from scratch, we already look, take, took a look at uh, the other day. Tails, uh, we also looked at and wow, beautiful with that little Tor browser there kind of saying that this is the safest uh, uh, distro to use and Manjaro we already took a look at at the 6th of uh, this month in the first uh, uh, 
distro watch of this month and free bsd and of course the beautiful soul loss project chakra we took a look at and open elec well peeps this was it again for uh, march i want to thank all the distro uh, developers out there well done great job keep working on the look and feels keep working on your desktop keep working on your icons just like anka busma did she really worked on the icons and on the desktop and i think uh, the first prize for the look and feels uh, go to anka busma so congratulations there anka together peeps thanks again for watching Shane. and of course see you in my next video again please like subscribe and go check out the linux distros at distrowatch